Time now for Futures in Focus. Markets have been uh, digesting the story surrounding the midterms and taking a look ahead, of course, to the Fed decision tomorrow. We need to talk about crude as well. Bob Iacchino uh, of Path Trading Partners joins us now from the CME. Bob, the polls were right. The markets pretty much had this one priced in. Any surprises? No, and I think that's a relief rally you're seeing, at least in the equities, guys. It's just a matter of polls being right. Uh, for the first time since 2016, that's not that long ago. I think there was a bit of volatility priced into the midterms. We didn't really get that volatility. Some key states, in terms of governorships, you, I'm sure you've been talking about it, seven flipped to blue, uh, but none of those in key states in terms of manufacturing or crude oil for the most part. Rust Belt, yes, but crude oil, no. Let's talk a bit about crude in more detail. The build we just saw in the EIA data follows the API data yesterday. Um, OPEC's clearly worried about the fact that we're now seeing more and more um, U.S. crude hitting the markets. I, how much are we going to see in 2019 and how's that going to impact the price? Well, there's three things to look at here, Guy. Number one being OPEC. You're right. They're meeting this weekend in Abu Dhabi. Uh, there's been plenty of talk of them making up for Iranian oil coming off the markets. But it looks like with those exemptions, not a lot of that oil is coming off the market in the near term. So that's number one. Number two, you've got the higher break-even prices, especially in the Permian, for U.S. crude. So they could actually slow down production a lot quicker than people think, given the transport costs, which are paid by the end user of crude oil. And number three, the two initiatives in the midterms that were on the ballots, the setback increase in Colorado and the carbon tax in Washington, both defeated by the populace. So there doesn't look like there's going to be a slowdown in fossil fuels in the U.S. either. 